Hi guys and welcome to another video. I hope some of you are doing really fine. I've seen a few videos of people going actually going out and going to car boot sales over the last couple of days. So um good on you for managing to get out. Um we've got no car boot sales open around where I am at the moment. But today um I did say I was gonna do Willow, but I've just come across two board games which actually are perfect things to be talking about um for splitting down for spare parts. I didn't pay a penny for these. Um, you know, have you ever seen the old videos in um, America where they do dump, di um, dumpster divers? I mean, yeah, it's roughly what this one was. It wasn't really a dumpster dive. I just went out to my local bin outside my house and um, someone has thrown two board games inside the bin. Um, inside my bin. Don't know where, don't know where they come from. So um, I brought them into the house and had a quick look at it. So this is one of them. This is um, MB Games 1985 version of Bed Bugs. And the other one was a trivia suit, which I'll talk about later on. But let's say I didn't pay a penny for these. Someone just happened to throw them on my bin. They just wanted to get rid of them, and I've just taken them out of the bin because they're in the very, very top, and it was still dry. But the box itself has got a bit of damage to it, and I first thought well, it was probably going to be broken or damaged. It's not really worth anything. But this channel, this, this, these videos, are all about how much can you make for actually breaking the parts down. So. The bed bugs game itself, how much is it really worth? In an incomplete condition, where this one is, you're lucky about you're lucky if you're gonna get seven, eight pound. In a complete condition, very good condition, or, or very good to the to the age, with the box in good condition, instructions manual, all the all the bugs, all the tongs, and full work and order. Top price currently is about £20 on eBay. That is in, is in the first week of June, or the, t the 10th of June 2020. There are people trying to get 20 quid for it, but look at all the sales, all the average sales are between 12 and £15. So, let's have a quick look at this then. So, what should it actually contain? So, the set does come with four sets of tongs, where I've only got three. It should be a blue, a red, a green, and a yellow set of tongs. And you should have 48 little creepy crawly bugs, 12 of each colour. So 12 green, 12 yellow, 12 red and 12 blue. I do believe though they came with four spare as well. So you would have had in the original one, there would have been 52 bugs sort of on there. Um, it has cardboard, there's plastic bed, has a cardboard little cutout of the, of the guy on the pillow and the cardboard bed pan. It takes two C-cell um, batteries which actually was thrown away with this as well. And this one's not corroded, so it actually does work. I'll show you at the end, we have a little game. I'll bring a couple of kids down, we'll finish off with a little game, uh, just to finish it over. But, so where does it stand then? So if I wanted to sell this as part, well, sell this as thing, I'm gonna get about like seven, eight pounds, but there's so many on there, so it's not really worth doing that. If I want to buy the pieces to make it a full set, by the time I pay for them and get them shipped in, again, it's not going to make it a good worthwhile be doing. So, splitting it down is the way forward. How much do you get for this stuff? Hmm, that is the thing. Do I sell its parts for a pound, or do I make a bit more money? This is where this new, new videos come in. I'm going to make some more money on a long-term invest, on a long-term gain. So, as I said, I'm not all the bugs missing. I've got all of the, I've got all 12 of the green bugs, I've got 10 of the red bugs, and I've got 11 each of the yellow and the blue bugs. I've only got three sets of tongs. The bugs, if I'm gonna sell four bugs, you can get maximum price I've seen sell is £2.75. Um, that is for one of each color. I've also seen them go for £1.75 for three bugs. Yeah, so that's three of the same colour. So it's three yellow, three blue, or three red. Or so that's what that's three postage by my one seventy five. The cardboard, the, the two bits of cardboard, I've seen go for two pound fifty, or they're trying to get two pound fifty, or two ninety nine actually they're trying to get. But I reckon it's around about two pound, two pound fifty. The tongs are selling at two pound ninety nine each per set of tongs. The plastic base, I reckon I can probably squeeze out about five pound for a replacement plastic base, five, six pound for a replacement plastic base. So where does that give me for the profit margin? So let's work it out. 
Okay. Unlike the last video where there wasn't, there was loads and loads to talk about and different prices, that sort of thing. I'm not, I'm not going to show you a big spreadsheet, but I am going to put it onto my spreadsheet anyway. So if someone did want that later on, um, these figures will actually be on the spreadsheet. But overall, I currently have 39 bugs. So if I sell those in sets of three, um, that's going to give me 13 lots of £1.75 each, which is going to give me a grand total of £22.75 pence just selling my bugs. What I say, the whole game complete, £15, that's free postage. This is £22.75, free postage. So by the time you take my postage out of these and that sort of thing, it's probably going to be about £13, £14 anyway. But that's still the bugs. Then I've got my free sets of tongs at £2.99, uh, that's £8.97. Uh, and then I've got my cardboard at £2.50 and the bed at £6. So if I factor in all that stuff, this is before sack tax and sales and postage and eBay fees and that sort of stuff. It's £40.22. Just for this sort of thing here. The cardboard, I'm going to ditch that because it's all broken and horrible. The instructions for this one are actually inside the lid of the box, so I can't sell the instructions separately sort of on there. But, giving myself a £40.22 into the bank of literally finding it it's because someone decided to throw it in my bin um, and i'm getting this free of charge i'm happy with that but so if i find one of these inside a car boot sale for one to two pound yes i'm quite happy to pick this thing up um and sell it on there itself but any more than two two pound three pound you're stretching it five it's probably not worth it if you're going to split it down by the time you split it down yes you're going to get 40 pound out of it but that is free postage, so, but generally when I split things down, I put it on a drop down bar and I add postage onto it as a one off sort of postage of one pound or one pound 29. So when I do that, I will factor these prices in and they will, um, the prices will coordinate fluctually. So I might sell them for one pound 50 plus one pound 29 postage, sort of on that, in the hope that people more buy more than one thing off because, you know, free postage works out really cheap for buying one thing for the buyer. But free postage on buying multiple items for the buyer, they don't really want to see it. So when I break these things down, that's why I charge postage as sort of one-off. So hopefully they will buy more items at a lesser price, but only paying one postage gives me a better overall sale. Gives me better profit because I've only got one lot of postage um, out of all the things which I'm selling. That's just me. So I wonder what you lot do. Hope you enjoy this sort of thing. What I'm going to do now, I'm not going to turn it on. I'm so tempted to turn this thing on and film it like that, but I want the kids' reaction. Let's go get them. Okay, so I've got my two kids, and um, all we're going to do now is they're in their bed clothes, ready for the bed bugs game. So it's the first person to capture all of their bugs out of uh, from the bed and place it on the table in front of you is the winner. Easy, yeah? Yeah. 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 Right then. Three. When I say when, when I turn when I put the timer on or the or the buzzer on, you will start to catch them. Three, two, one. I ain't waiting for it, Rebecca. I lost that one. But was that fun, you lot? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, zoom out. Oh. So, um, as I said, it's a good fun game. Very noisy. Bits go missing all over the place. As you just saw, we just played it then. They went everywhere. So, people are always needing spare parts of this game. So, this is where us as resellers can give them the, the supply, the demand, is what they say. If you like this, remember to like, comment, subscribe. If you haven't checked some of the other videos out, but until then, happy hunting. Bye for now. Daddy had five left.